If you're looking for a free media player for your computer that's better than what's built into your operating system to play your audio and video files, we've got you covered. So coming up in this top five, I'll count down the absolute best media player software that you can use for free on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Let's get started. Starting things off, coming in at number five is the DivX Player. Founded way back in the year 2000, this player's claim to fame is being one of the first media players to offer HEVC playback up to 4K. They offer support for most of the popular video formats, including AVI, MP4, MKV, and their very own format, DivX. It will also play the most popular audio files as well. Included in the software is a video converter that helps to convert your videos to more accessible file types, and it will also let you make minor edits to those videos. Their user layout is easy enough to figure out, even for novice users, with most of the key settings and features located along the lower right, including their casting feature to cast what is on your screen to another device. One annoying downside of the free version of DivX is that it's supported by ads. To get an ad-free experience and take advantage of its advanced features, their DivX Pro plan is a one-time cost of $13.99, which is not too unreasonable. If DivX was completely free, like those in the top four of this video, with no ads, it would be higher on our list. But if you want to try it out, it's available for both Windows and Mac OS. Coming in at number four is Pot Player. This one's a favorite for many people and uses techniques like DXVA, CUDA, and QuickSync to deliver the ultimate in performance. It supports various subtitle formats and supports most of the popular audio and video codecs. In addition, it supports Open Codec, which lets you add any codec you want to the player. Pop Player's interface is full of options and features, including this control panel here on the right that pops up to change the audio, video, subtitle, and playback settings. What keeps Pop Player from being higher on this list is that it's proprietary software. The code is not accessible to inspect, like our top three picks, which are open source with no telemetry going back to the developer. Also, it's not cross-platform, Pop Player is only available for Windows. In at number three is the media player, simply called MPV. This cross-platform, free and open source media player offers a minimalistic user interface and is great for those of you looking for a media player with a low impact on system resources. It supports the most popular media formats and subtitle types with GPU video decoding and high quality output. While MPV, at its core, is a basic media player, there are hundreds of user scripts available on GitHub to enhance its capabilities. For those of you interested in checking those out, the link to this page will be in the description. As I mentioned earlier, the interface is minimal. You'll find the basic controls and an overlay here at the bottom of the window. MPV is available for all three of the major operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It even has an app for Android that's available from the Google Play Store. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is the free and open source SM Player. It's highly customizable. It lets you change the look of the player with several skins and icon themes included. It's packed full of features, including configurable subtitles and bookmarking of the time position of the file played. Using the award-winning M-Player playback engine with the codecs built in, it supports most of the known audio and video file formats and codecs. Some people are put off by the way it looks when they first install it. To customize it the way you want it, here in the toolbar, select Options, then select Preferences. Here in the sidebar, click Interface. Experiment with GUI, icon set, and style. In this example, I'll change the GUI and the icon set. When you're done making your changes, click Apply. You'll see the new look when the media player relaunches. SM Player is available for Windows and Linux, as it's always been, and now has a version available for Mac OS. While there are a lot of great choices, VLC Media Player still comes out on top as the best free media player. It's free and open source, with no user tracking, no ads, and no spyware, and it's available for just about any platform you can think of. It can play just about any audio or video file that you throw at it. It can play DVDs with support for subtitles. It's highly customizable. 
You can change how it looks by adding pre-made skins, or you can create your own with their skin editor. It also has extensions you can install to enhance its functionality. Just like SM Player, many people don't like the user interface for VLC, claiming it looks outdated. Four years ago, many news outlets reported that VLC was making a massive overhaul to the player, including changing the overall look to a more modern looking user interface. While there's been many delays, the good news, while not in stable, they now have nightly builds available on their site for the new version 4.0 to try out. Just be aware that because these are unstable and in development, as they say, you should expect problems and issues. VLC Media Player is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. It also has mobile apps for both iOS and Android. It even has apps for Apple TV and for the Xbox gaming console. Thanks for watching. For all mentioned, links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let us know in the comments your favorite media player and why. And if you're new to our channel and haven't done so already, subscribe and smash the notification bell to not miss out on our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff.